Hallo everyone en uh, welcome back to the Palace Zoo. Uh, happy New Year's to everyone and all my best wishes to you and uh, your New Year's resolutions as well. Um, so uh, today we have a little fun project with a lot of interior design. Uh, a reptile house. And in this reptile house there live reptiles and also spiders. And um, everything in the basically the exhibit, little uh, stalls, uh, square things. But yeah, uh, so here I'm building the main house, and this is a very old reptile house um, that is renovated on the inside because someone gave me a good tip on that, and that seems like a cool idea. So I'm uh, gonna build in an old classical way, and then the inside is completely new. And actually themed to um, the Amazon rainforest or something very tropical with like leaves and a lot of wood and stuff instead of like a more classical vibe of the outside. Now my uh, good friend Targ here, he uh, sent me a lot of uh, screenshots or screenshots, I mean pictures of pictures he made uh, of uh, like random buildings in his location, uh, I guess. and. Uh, one of those buildings I'm using for inspiration for this reptile house. So it's just uh, a big tall building with a, a center. How would you say? A console? No, no just uh, something that sticks out a bit. Uh, it looks very cool. So that's what I took as inspiration. A heavily detailed building. Um, so I feel like that's a bit uh, lacking in this zoo for now. So the main building here is very detailed. I... Uh, Really had fun uh, building it. Of course, we are in the early stages of the game, so our building pieces are a bit limited. Um, I really started to notice that when working on the interior of the building, that we don't have a lot of props or textures to really uh, experiment with. Um, and I still haven't got the hang of all the pieces yet. So some some pieces you just need, like need to know, and then you can think, oh. I can use that for that, and for that, and for that, and then you combine them together and then you have something cool. But that takes time and I still haven't had the time to really mess around with, uh, with it that much. Uh, yeah, I'm doing I'm redoing some of the, of the brickwork in front uh, because I want it to be symmetrical roughly and like neat and uh, nice. Uh, yeah, so pretty flowers in front. Um, also, I chose to have a closed door for the reptile house because it just looks a bit better and more natural than an open gap that people walk through because we don't have like loose doors yet I think so yeah that's why that uh, that's why it's closed it also well you have to explore as a player uh, you have to explore the park a bit if you download it if you don't know if you haven't watched this episode you wouldn't know that it's actually an inside of it, but it would be a cool discovery, I guess. So yeah, the interior here. Now, this is actually uh, one of the most more more uh, challenging things I've done in this game yet. Except for the terrain part in the third episode, that was a bit tricky. You're trickier than this. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's renovated, so it's completely refurbished. Uh, it's a lot of wood now. I chose to go with like uh, I don't know, like a, a tropical inside themed uh, thing. We don't have really a South American uh, pack yet, so I had to improvise a bit. I used the Arctic pieces of wood and stuff, and well, not everything mixes together uh, really nicely. Uh, it looks a bit off in the end. I feel like so. Again, if you have any better ideas for the interior, let me know then I just uh, uh, do an update video uh, because I've actually had a lot of uh, good feedback after the last video on how to make my uh, enclosures a bit more realistic and uh, better. So I will probably do an entire episode of just redoing stuff in the zoo. Um, not quite yet though, but um, once we are at a bit for further stage where I can fill an entire episode. Um, because I really want this to be uh, a, a functioning functioning zoo, uh, roughly in real life. Uh, that's what I like to do with my theme parks uh, that I make. So that's also what I'm go go 
what what I'm gonna do in uh, Planet 2. I'm more of a theme park guy. I know uh, a lot more about theme parks and how they operate and how coasters work and the backstage areas and stuff and what is needed than uh, zoos. Zoos are uh, like still a bit new to me. I haven't visited a lot of them, but I really want to learn more and uh, this game is great for that. Uh, especially the animals, of course. But I also like the backstage area and the operations of, uh, of a zoo like this, so yeah. So yeah, here I'm using the props. Uh, not much choice, so I just use spots that could be used everywhere. Um, I hope you get a vibe of what I'm going for. Um, I don't know, like somewhere in Machu Picchu, but like not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Please help me with this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. But here I'm making a little theater actually, so people can watch a, a, a show or like uh, an information show here about animals while they're dining. Oh yeah, I have told that it's, it's a restaurant inside uh, this bit. It used to be the old reptile house, but that was way too small for the animals or something. So I just they chose this is the story, the background that there is now a restaurant in there. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, putting fake leaves on the walls to give it that really tropical Amazon vibe or something like that. Uh, yeah. And since it's a reptile house, why not have a snake uh, head when you enter? Uh, I hope it won't scare the kids or something, but I thought that was uh, a fun thing to add. Um, yeah, again, everything just feels a bit off for me still I really I might just go back and change some stuff in here but I don't know what to change so yeah so here I put the, the signs up okay oh yeah here's the actual reptile house part and this is all new um, in the lore of our park so they built this uh, later this is I, I guess reasonably new like 20 years 10 years 5 years I don't know uh, yeah so in this area there is so all the exhibit buildings are there and there's also a salt water crocodile enclosure here that I'm working on. Um, I try to incorporate some of the tips you guys gave me, uh, like, a, like a bit of a slope towards the fence, but that didn't make uh, a lot of sense for the crocodiles as they need water also and stuff. But uh, yeah, um, I, like I'm going for realistic with the zoo. But I'm not going to go with modern for this zoo, so uh, it is an old zoo, so the enclosures aren't gigantic uh, and stuff, or like really big, or really modern. Um, but um, I mean, they could be renovated. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do with all the, uh, what, with really the style of all the enclosures and stuff. Uh, next episode, we're probably gonna build like a giraffe uh, enclosure or something. Uh, which I really do want to focus a bit more on uh, how it's gonna work with like uh, more verticality and a cool um, building and then you can hide the, a place to like get some cover from the people that's also the back up there and the most need a bit of space to hide from people so uh, I'm also gonna go back in the p file enclosure and chase that a bit up so they always have a place to sleep without being uh, disturbed now, a thing that I'm building here, which I'm probably almost uh, really gonna change, is the brick texture on the outside backstage area. It just looks very weird with the rest of the park. Uh, so it's probably gonna be limestone again, or just plaster or concrete or something. It's just something with the texture that looks off. Um, or I just might need to may it, like put more detail in at that. But yeah. Um, some inside plants because it needs to feel tropical right this entire area is going to be an inside cavern uh, i thought it was pretty cool um but yet again it feels still a bit bland to me yeah even though uh, after this episode so i thought just for now the best thing is to do is just finish it for what it is ask people for feedback and if, if people have better ideas incorporate them in that later episode i talked about um, also, I really wish we had like uh, 
static tights. Oh wait, video, I guess. Well, yeah, I'm gonna add those two. So yeah, the roof. Oh yeah, roof. Uh, it, the thing about this building is quite big, and to make it look interesting, uh, that was a challenge for me. And the brick didn't mix with the roof, and then the roof didn't mix with the building, and. Let's just say I'm not completely happy with the exterior of this backstage uh, building yet. But we will fix that, yes, indeed. Um, yeah, so once again, uh, thanks to Targ for all the pictures he sent me and the feedback and stuff. Um, really, uh, I'm going to use a lot of those and I'm uh, going to probably use those for a lot of inspiration for this part. Um, makes my life easier, <laughs> really. Yeah, okay. So, oh yeah. This building, the reptile house, has an uh, an open like gateway uh, for the crocodiles to the outside part. So it, it's not like humid inside. Uh, it's pretty cold actually. It's like an exterior temperature. So um, ex well, we can heat it up, but I mean, it's not like very well isolated. Obviously, with a huge gap in the in the in the, in the building. Oh yeah, here's some Trimberg, but I decided to skip half of the footage of that. So. You were, yeah, you owe me for that. No, no I guess no, no, that's bullshit. Okay, um, yeah. Oh yeah, I added a water feature here. Feature, I should say. Um, um, to keep it mildly realistic, I put like plates on top of it that push the, like, to pump the water up, I guess. Um, yeah. You know what I mean. So yeah, just finishing here. Uh, the rock texture wall, I decided just to have an entire facade with a rock texture and uh, to keep the backstage area out of view for guests so it uh, stays one um, like immersive experience. Also, I'm probably going to extend that area with a bit more t rock texture and more tropical plants uh, to keep it in the same theme as the rest of that area. Um, I'm placing the foliage down for the, for the crooked rocks. Uh, turns out I placed way too much down and I actually need to, to, to delete some. Um, uh, yeah, again, challenging. I, I probably should have looked up more crocodile exhibits for this. Yeah, uh, I, I'm starting to... Well, uh, I haven't built in the park for a week now. Because of New Year's and all stuff. And uh, I really uh, thought of a lot of ways to improve the park already. So I'm really gonna... I have that episode of uh, redoing and stuff, but at first uh, probably gonna do some giraffe exhibit things and maybe two animals edit in one video. Wow. Yeah. Also, uh, I um, just to turn off all the animal welfare things. Just wanna focus on the looks of the building now. So I'm here I'm mildly detailing, detailing the backstage building or the show building I should say not really show building so theme park or a dark ride but yeah that's what we do in planet coaster uh, but there we have much more stuff to mess around with and often in zoos these buildings are more functional um, for what they are instead of just being a facade for a themed dark ride inside yeah um, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically is for this week, people. A bit of a shorter episode, but uh, I've got some uh, fun plans ahead. So, yeah. Uh, please give me feedback and uh, what you think of the Zoom, what we should do. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye!